Welcome back to 90 Seconds Plus. And today we've got Mrs. Mia again. It's been a wee while, so it's time to catch up. So how's Nobby? Yeah, he's he's better. Yep. He's getting better all the time. Yep. He's still a wee bit tired and he, he's pacing himself. Yep. Um, you know, a bit of controversy recently hasn't been good for his health, of yep. course. It's stressful and puts your blood pressure up. Yep. Um, and, you know, while we're talking about that subject, I'd like to bring up about the constant regurgitation yep. of negative things. Yep and how it has a wider impact on his family. Yes, because you've got quite an extended family. We have, and it's a multicultural family. Well, it's a bit like and the United Nations, I joke. It is, <laughs> it is. It is, much, it is it? Yes, it yeah. is. And um, they get upset because yeah. we all know that yeah. Nobby's not the way he's being portrayed in the yes. media. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, it ripples on, and I've even had my grandchildren come back from school saying, is Papa a racist? Yeah. Yeah. And we just think that's... Appalling. It is. Um, so people need to realise when they keep regurgitating this kind of information and painting a picture of who they think Nobby is but who he isn't, um, it does have a wider impact. Mm -hmm. And so it's getting a bit tiresome, yeah. to be honest. I think it says yeah. a lot about you know the taxpayer funding um, <laughs> democracy or local democracy journalism. That particular journalist does the story and then the other ones, other mainstream media have access to that mm. and then they feed off it. Um, and then they manipulate it and with the dumper it, they do their own headlines just to give it a twist and an angle yeah. or they publish something um, like the, the public meeting, uh, a, a Dunedin based newspaper, I won't name, ODT, um, <laughs> they ran the story about the public meeting and then shamelessly at the end they just without context had that the mayor had made racial slurs on a TV show last week. So it's that sort of just gutter journalism and they wonder why there's no trust in them. And, it was, and that show was sold to Nobby on a it was, was supposed to be a comedy or whatever. And again, that's funded by the taxpayer, which is sad. Yep. Um, that should be the outrage, is yeah. why our money wasted on such trash. Well, again, we've, uh, here we are, the poor old ratepayer is faced with, what, it'll be 10, 20k, when we're already in a living, uh, financial crisis, a living crisis. Um, you know, the ratepayers are already struggling as it is. And here we are, and we've got a, a code of conduct, which um, I would have thought if a couple of councillors had an issue with the mayor, they would approach him and say, can we have a chat in your office or can we have a full council meeting behind closed doors and everybody could debate it and, and discuss it. So what's your, um, you know? Oh, I agree. Yeah. I agree, Mike. I yeah. think, you know, his door's also always open and yeah. he's, he's, anybody can approach Nobby about anything. Yeah. He never personalises anything. He's yeah. quite a logical thinker and unemotive. Yeah. So, yeah, his... I just don't understand why they just didn't go and have a yarn to him yeah. and say, hey, yeah. I didn't like what you said, fair enough. Yeah. Um, and he might have considered putting out an apology if he had, yeah. they thought he'd offended a lot of people. But, well, it's good hey, he's apologising now, so really yeah. it's sort of done and dusted, I feel. I mean, he's sometimes, the, yeah. He's made the apology. He, he, <coughs> he shoots from the hip, Nobby. Yeah. He's a straight talker. Yeah. And, and sometimes it gets him into trouble. It does. Well, quite often it gets him into trouble, but, yeah. you know, yeah. that's how he is. Yeah. What you see is what you get with That's Nobby. Right. Yes. So, and I love that honesty about yeah. him. But yeah. he definitely is not a racist. Yeah. He, he's not. He doesn't judge people yeah. on what they are, who they are, what religion they have. Yeah. He really doesn't. He's not even a homophobe, as some people allegedly is. Which I think is hilarious. I <laughs> we just laugh at home, except for the, you know, the ripple on effect, yes. like I was mentioning yeah. about the family yeah. getting yeah. affected and that's not by it. the grandkids and the no. and so on. Yeah, because they don't understand it. And you know, a lot of our friends say to us, "Oh God, there's no way I'll ever go into politics. Look what you guys have to put up with." But you have to have a thick skin. Yeah. And personally, I don't. I just laugh it off because yeah. every, you're never going to make everybody happy. I, I mean, the world's full of different yeah. ideas, but I don't let it get under my skin yeah. at all. And sometimes, sometimes I, I do get tempted to have a go online at the <laughs> trolls and go, take that, you yeah. know, because yeah. and so, and occasionally I have, and my daughter is absolutely horrified, yeah. and she says, "Oh, mum, it's just terrible," you know, but. Sometimes it just gets too much for me and I have to fight back, but yeah. most yeah. of the time I try to just control it and have a wee laugh yeah. Yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I've learned the hard way as well, <laughs> having a media outlet. You get attacked, and, you oh, but I've learned ages ago you're not going to please everybody, so it's like, hey, life's too short to be worried about some small-minded bunch of small-minded people yeah. and just get on with life. And it can be, it can be fun to actually yeah. um, have a wee go at somebody and have a toing and froing, and the minute they start to personalise the argument, you know you've beaten them. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that always, and then I finish it there, yeah. and I think, ha ha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Got, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> there was an old saying, what is it? The uh, the, uh, the, uh, the hollow, hollow, hollowest drums make the loudest noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that saying. Yeah.
But I, mean, I look at um, and, and look at the positive. Of it. This term's council under the mayor. You know, as I say, it's been an interesting term. Yeah. Um, I was always concerned that you know once Sir Tim passed the cha you know passed it down to the next yeah. uh, next mayor that we wouldn't get the same coverage. But <laughs> I know he's doing re really good. Not always in the best way, but he's certainly keeping yeah. Invercargill on the map, which is key to uh, yeah. great, uh, getting our, our, our city out there. Yeah, and I think you know I think this council is great, Tom. When Nobby got sick, Tom yep. filled in for him, oh, and he did right. a fantastic yes, job. Um, and there was no hesitation. All the others came round and, yep. and said, you know, what can we do to help? Um, they pulled together as a team, yep. and that's all you can ask for in a city council. Yep. Um, so, yeah, good on them. It would have to be one of the most positive and cohesive council mm. we've had, team we've had in probably, what, 19 years, I think. Well, really? I, yeah, Definitely. I don't know. Well, Nobby yep. and I only started following council yep. when the museum got closed down. If it hadn't been for that, we yeah. wouldn't be here today. Right, yes. Um, so, you know, we watched for three years. We sat in these seats along here and yep. watched the current council for three years and we made a bit of noise in the background and I don't think they liked us very much. Yep. Um, and then I thought, no, the only way to do anything is to Just get him in. Step up. So yep. he stepped up and we got in. But then you had the same old sort of negative... Because they, they didn't like us, and yeah. I can understand why, because yeah. we were the noisy ones yeah. in the seats. And um, and then we were going to pull out because we couldn't see ourselves getting anywhere with the museum. We thought, oh, we've tried outside, we've tried inside, it's not working. And then he was approached to see if he'd stand for mayor, and I'll tell you what, that caused a lot of debate in our house, because yeah. I didn't want him to come back in, because yeah. it's quite stressful. And we're in our 70s now, and we, you know, we're you know looking for a peaceful life. Yeah. But anyway, he got talked into it, yeah. and what has he done? He's yeah. got our museum being yes, built. exactly. And so I think, good on him, a pat on the back. We finally got there. It's taken nine years by the yeah. time you get to the end of our yeah. beginning yeah. of the journey. So, yeah, I'm just proud of him for having just done that one thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great. That'll be his legacy project, as oh. the, uh, as the museum actually built. And, you know, built. I remember when Nigel Scout was here, and Nigel probably was wondering why he didn't get a chair job. Yeah. But I said to Nigel, he's handed you that museum project. He must trust that you're going to be able to do that yeah. because that's his pet project. Mm. And he's moved on now, Grant Durham, but he's got it. Yeah. And Grant's doing a great job Grant's with it a, too. Yeah, he's doing job. a fine yeah. job. He's, he's a man to watch yes. coming through the ranks in the so few well. next few years. Yes. And so I've got my eye on, on Tom yeah. and I've got my eye on Grant and I... And Trish Boyle, she's yes. a quiet lady and in the background, but yep. she's pretty good. And yep. I'll tell you somebody else whom I've changed my whole point of view about yep. is Leslie. Yes. Leslie Soper. Yep. Now, I never used to think much of Leslie yep. when I was sitting back here, but she's one of the hardest working councillors on that council. Yep. She does huge amounts of work behind the scenes, and she never steps forward to the limelight. She's a quiet, hard worker in the background. Yep. So, yeah. And so. I, I, while we're giving the councillors a plug, I've got to give um, Darren Ludlow a plug as well. Oh, He's our longest serving councillor, I think, he for, is. Uh, is. And to be fair, as I said to him when they um, I, I officially, opened, officially opened Esk Street, I said to him then, um, I've noticed this this, this new council, um, you seem to have a bounce in his step. I yeah. think it's been really fun for him, or more enjoyable for him as well. And also, he's been, um, again, Nobby included him mm. and gave him responsibilities and different things. And yeah. I was a chair, I think he's a chair of one of the committees. Yeah, yes, I forget, yeah. forget which one I should know. <laughs> um, um, and so it's been good to see Darren, um, certainly. Yeah. Step, uh, enjoy this term as well, and you know, put Darren the time in. Reminds me of myself. He's the yeah. steady Eddie behind the yes. man who wants to get in there and have everything done by yesterday. Yeah. Darren will slow Nobby down a bit, and, yeah. and he's a thinker. Yeah. Darren, um, he's got his skills. Yeah, yeah, he's. You need Darren's on your council. Yeah, and he can run a meeting. He can. <laughs> he can. Um, there's a lot of good people in that council yeah. now. Yeah. So, yeah, good on them. Yeah, yeah I, I love watching it now. I watch it online. Yeah. I don't bother coming in here to harass them because yeah. I can harass them here at home, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I do quite often Yeah, yeah. because um, I don't agree with everything that, you know, he wants to do. Yeah, um, so we have interesting debates. Yes. Um, and I feel like I usually win, but <laughs> 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 not always. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm enjoying it. But yeah. I'll be pleased when it, he's not going to stand yeah, again. I, I won't yeah. let him. Yeah. There's no way I'm... Yeah going to let him well, stand it next to He's election. got a counter on his phone, hasn't he, counting down the days? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, because I think it's time for us now. Yeah. So, yeah, the museum will be almost built when That's he leaves. Right. Yep. So, yeah, it'll be nice to just yep. retire, fade off into the background in our camper van. Yeah. Be lovely. <laughs> and there'll be no, <laughs> no more talk of council business. Yeah, true. It's yeah. going to be a subject that's not allowed in our house. Yeah. Right, that's uh, 90 Seconds Plus this week with Mrs Mayor. Until next week, see you later.